Doctors are asked to write reports for a variety of medical legal reasons. For the coroner, for example, or a hospital disciplinary investigation, or when a patient is making a claim for compensation. Whatever the purpose, we always advise members to take the time and trouble to get their report exactly right. It's well worth it in the long run. A report is no more than a detailed, factual, chronological account of events. It does not need to be complicated. Quite the opposite. In fact, the clearer and more self-explanatory, the better. There are a few simple guidelines to bear in mind when you write up your report. Some of them are basic, but it's easy to want to get on and tell the story and the basics sometimes get overlooked. First, identify yourself. Give your name and your medical qualifications in full and your status, GP, F1, consultant and so on. It's also important to say what your role was at the time of the incident. Then explain your contact with the patient. Are you the patient's GP or consultant? Did you see the patient privately or on the NHS? Did you see them for clinical or forensic reasons? Next, was the patient alone or accompanied during consultations? If someone else was there, state their name and status. For example, the patient's spouse, parent or social worker. You'll need to give these details for every consultation. It's good to write in the first person, that way it's clearer to the reader who did what. As an example, instead of saying, the patient was examined and found to have, you might want to say, I examined the patient and found that he had. Of course your understanding of the case will be significantly influenced by the history the patient gave you. But when you come to explain the consultations, focus on your observations and understanding rather than trying to remember word for word what the patient said. Ideally, you should describe the presenting symptoms in order to put your interpretation of your examination into context. It is best to describe events as you saw them, in chronological order, referring to the clinical notes whenever you can. That means every consultation, phone call, email and referral. You should also include your working diagnosis and your differential diagnosis for each consultation. Crucially, you will need to demonstrate that your history and examination were thorough, so say what you found and also what you looked for but failed to find. It is acceptable to quote from memory, but you will need to say that's what you've done. And if you really cannot recall the details of a case or consultation, it's okay to say what your usual practice would have been in the circumstances. Finally, if other clinicians are involved, then you will need to name them and give their professional status. And while you can describe your understanding of what they did and what conclusions they reached, you should not in any way criticise their performance. If you need assistance with writing a factual report for any medical legal reason, please call the MDU and one of our advisors will be pleased to help.